Today in Cloud Gaming, we're going to be talking about price hikes. We all hate them, but they're the sad reality of subscription-based services, so let's talk about it. This year alone, we've seen three cloud gaming services increase their pricing. Xbox Cloud Gaming, PlayStation Plus, and recently GeForce Now. Back in July, Game Pass Ultimate went from $14.99 to $16.99. Back in September, PlayStation Plus Premium increased by $35 per year. And as of November 1st, GeForce Now in Canada, Europe, and the UK have increased their prices for their subscriptions by $1 or $2 in their local currency. And let's keep it real, that sucks, but it is also the sad reality of subscription-based services. We've seen it happen in every industry, be it music, movies, and more, and it's going to keep happening throughout the future. Now whether or not these price increases are ultimately justified is up to you the consumer. So let's put some things into perspective. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate has a ton to offer, and there's a reason people always joke about it being the best deal in gaming. After all, it gives you access to every Game Pass game on Xbox, PC, and through the cloud. And it's still the only major service to offer day one exclusives made by their own game studios. And let's be real, with the recent purchase of Activision Blizzard, that's becoming a major benefit. So much so that I wouldn't be too surprised to see another price hike somewhere down the road. Overall, I'd say the gaming community sentiment on this price hike was pretty mild. Everybody kinda saw it coming because of how cheap Game Pass Ultimate already is. But specifically on the cloud gaming side of things, we've yet to see a major update from Xbox Cloud Gaming. Hopefully we'll see that soon. Now when it comes to the PlayStation side of things, they're a bit different. People were pretty annoyed about the price increase. And to be fair, it was kind of a substantial price increase and they don't offer their first party studios games as part of the subscription. But one notable upgrade that did happen to the service is the introduction of PS5 game streaming. Not only are PlayStation Plus Premium members now able to stream their favorite PS5 games directly to their PS5, but they can also stream them at 4K. This makes Sony the only other major competitor in the cloud gaming space that can offer that level of fidelity other than GeForce Now. Now it is worth pointing out that it has been discussed by Xbox Cloud Gaming and Amazon Luna in the past, but until now we've yet to see them take that step forward. My whole take on PlayStation's price increase is that, well, yeah it's still kind of pricey and PS5 Cloud Gaming is still limited to only PS5 hardware, which is really holding back the benefits of cloud gaming in general. Expect an impressions video soon on the channel, but I gotta say, despite the negatives, it does work extremely well. Last but not least, we have GeForce Now's price increase. Once again, I think this kind of flew under the radar for most people. That said, it is the newest one to happen. I just haven't seen too much discussion about it online or too many complaints. Not to mention, with the latest news of EU one month premium signups being sold out, it doesn't seem to be slowing down any sort of progress that GFN is making. So what's different about the GFN side of things? Well, for one, I gotta say, I think they've increased their quality of service quite a bit. Not only are they onboarding more and more games each and every week, but they're doing it in a substantial amount. There are some weeks where we get more games added than what we used to get in entire months earlier this year. I also gotta say, the overall quality of titles being added each and every week seem to have improved in my opinion as well. Now whether any of these changes justified the price increase to you is, well, your decision to make. And honestly, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them down in the comments section below. As for myself, well, I can't say that I'm that against any of the price increases that have happened thus far. The one I like the least has to be PlayStation Plus, and that's only because it's still very limited to how I can do my PS5 cloud gaming. But once that gets solved, I genuinely think the upgrade to 4K PS5 streaming is actually pretty valuable. Now let's keep it real, if I didn't run a YouTube channel covering all of these, would I be paying for them all? Probably not. My subs would probably be looking more like PC Game Pass, PS Plus Extra, and GFN Ultimate as that's where I do most of my cloud gaming. But once again, looking at each service on its own, I think they've kind of justified their increases. To me, justification comes in the form of quality of output or quality of service. If either get increased in a significant way, I'm typically okay throwing a few extra dollars here and there. Within reason, of course. But I gotta say, this is a slippery slope. It doesn't take much to look at the movie industry and see how things are playing out over there. Many price hikes have happened all over the place and have been met with harsh criticism. Frankly, it's easy to anger your customers and not everybody's gonna be able to find justification every time you increase a price. One thing that I think it's important for companies to realize is that not everybody uses cloud gaming the same way. For some users out there, it may be the only way they play, but for others, it'll just be an addition to how they already play. And as a user, I think it's extremely important that most of the major players make sure that they can cater to both styles. At least for the foreseeable future. 
For me, it's currently the way I do most of my gaming, but I would say it's more of a supplement to how I game. And that's simply because there are still some titles I have to go to local hardware to play. But let me know how you do your cloud gaming. Is it the only way you play, or is it simply a supplement to how you've been already playing? I gotta say, the topic of subscriptions is a very interesting one, especially in a world where we currently seem to be targeted by multiple subscriptions at a time. It's been incredibly interesting seeing the movie and music industry deal with it, but we're starting to see how gaming will deal with it. It really is just a matter of time. Regardless, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video, I hope you have a great day, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.